<laughs> wow, look at that. Wow. Holy cow. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest underwater creatures. So it's down to us to bring their invasion under control. They are really, really important scavengers in the deep sea benthic environment. They're thought to be found worldwide. People are very interested in this kind of thing, and we need to make people more aware of just how many incredible things there are in our ocean. For this list, we're looking at aquatic creatures whose appearance, behavior, and other attributes make them extra spooky. We'll be excluding fish, though, as those already have a list of their own. Which one gives you the heebie-jeebies? Tell us in the comments. Number 10, Giant Squid. On the 87th photo, making its film debut. Oh! Stop! 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 Oh! The elusive giant. We figured we'd get the obvious one out of the way. Although giant squids have long been the subject of legends about undersea monsters, it wasn't until the early 2000s that the creatures were actually photographed on camera. With lengths that can reach between 45 and 59 feet, giant squids are some of the biggest living mammals. Specimens have been reported weighing close to 1,000 pounds. The giant squid is not as heavy, weighing in at around 600 pounds, but they do have far longer arms and even longer feeding tentacles. They're large enough to give certain whales a run for their money. Their enormous size and many tentacles have fascinated and frightened people for centuries. Giant squids have such a legendary and intimidating reputation that we're scared what they'd do if we left them off our list. People are very interested in this kind of thing, and we need to make people more aware of just how many incredible things there are in our ocean. Number nine. Giant isopod. Giant isopods are a creepy crawly type of crustacean that live deep within most of the world's major oceans. If they look like giant pale pill bugs to you, there's a good reason. They're actually related to the insect. They look positively alien, but they're really just giant pill bugs. However, giant isopods are much more than your average roly poly. These aquatic creatures are opportunistic scavengers that are willing to eat dead organisms they come across, as well as other living animals. They are really, really important scavengers in the deep sea benthic environment. They're thought to be found worldwide. Their compound eyes and seven pairs of wiggly legs are much less cute than their terrestrial counterparts. And did we mention the larger ones can be over a foot long? Number eight, Atolla jellyfish. Jellyfish in general are already pretty creepy. Unfortunately, they only get spookier as you dive deeper into the ocean. The Atolla jellyfish inhabit the mid-water section of the sea. These creatures bear a rich red color that makes them look like bloody, tentacled brains. As if that wasn't creepy enough, they're also bioluminescent, meaning they produce their own light. They can use their bioluminescence for a terrifying defense. If threatened, the Atolla jellyfish may flash their inner light to attract something more dangerous than the predator attacking it. Their appearance and bioluminescence make them resemble tiny underwater UFOs. Since we don't want to be abducted, we're gonna stay away from these jellyfish. Number seven, king crab. Seafood enthusiasts may eat king crab with gusto, but seeing these crustaceans while they're alive is enough to dampen anyone's appetite. Part of why they're so sought after is their size. The bigger they are, the more meat they can produce. These freakish beasts grow up to six foot wide and have no natural predators, so it's down to us to bring their invasion under control. While it can vary by species, the red king crab is the largest of the bunch. Their legs can grow to a span of over five feet. It looks so angry. <laughs> These wide creatures are also adorned with spines on their rough shells that both protect them and make them absolutely terrifying. King crab may be tasty, but we'll leave their capture to braver souls than us. Man, that's a lot of money. Now that's a tape I know. <laughs> Number six, Alcibel's mighty clawed lobster. Dinocolis alcibeli, AKA the terrible claw lobster, is a species of lobster that was first discovered in 2007. The creature was first located in the deep sea off the coast of the Philippines. Although the terrible claw lobster may only be around an inch long, its appearance is still plenty creepy. The creatures have a semi-translucent exoskeleton that has pink and orange highlights. The tiny lobster also has two claws with serrated teeth. To top it all off, one of its claws is typically significantly longer than the other. 
While we know it's small, we can't help but imagine how terrifying this lobster would be if it were larger. Number 5. Sea Spiders Did you need another reason to be afraid to go in the water? Well, we've got you covered. A lot of strange creatures live in the cold depths beneath the Antarctic ice. But none stranger than the giant sea spider. Despite their name, sea spiders are not technically spiders. But although they're arthropods instead of arachnids, you'll definitely want to steer clear of them if long legs are not your thing. These creatures are practically all legs. They have a very small body and a very short gut in their body. And then their gut goes out to the tip of all of their legs, so they do most of their digestion and food processing in their legs. Unlike actual spiders, some species can have up to 10 or 12 legs in total. Their sizes can also vary wildly between species. That's brilliant. Look at that. The most terrifying sea spiders can grow legs that are over two feet long. And just in case you were hoping they were confined to one area, they've been found in oceans across the globe. For some, it's the stuff of nightmares. Terrific. Number four, flying spaghetti monster. Praise the flying, wait, we're not talking about the deity? Do you believe in a flying spaghetti monster too, Bubblehead? I wasn't talking about spaghetti. As it turns out, flying spaghetti monsters are technically a real thing. When this marine creature was discovered, it was given the scientific name Bathyphysa conifera, but it didn't take long for people to start calling the animal a flying spaghetti monster. These creatures look like elongated, inside-out jellyfish made of pasta. And each one is actually a colonial organism made up of many smaller animals known as zooids. Basically, it's a tentacled monster that typically measures over a meter long and is made up of tinier creatures. The creature's design and characteristics still make us wonder if they're native to Earth, or if they're really Cthulhu's spawn. Oh my god, they... Turn your lights off. Turn your lights off. Number three, colossal squid. Until now, we could only guess how this jet-propelled predator of the deep might look. While they may not get as long as giant squids, colossal squids have their fellow giant squids beat in weight class. Certain specimens have been known to weigh over half a ton. As the team measures the squid, one crucial number is unexpectedly small. 4.21 is yes. the total length. Total length, yes. Steve was expecting the squid to be more than 30 feet long. It's only half that. The hooks that these massive cephalopods sport on their arms and tentacles are probably incredibly painful to any whales that try to feed on them. Now the squid is unique in that it has these hooks that can swivel 360 degrees in either direction, and we don't know whether it can actively control them to try to turn them, or whether they can passively turn as it's latched onto struggling prey just so that the hooks don't get torn out of the tentacles. When it comes to catching their own prey, colossal squids use their bioluminescence to bring their food to them. Since they primarily inhabit the deep oceans closer to the South Pole, their interactions with humans have been fairly limited. But we'd frankly rather know more about an animal this frightening. Number two, vampire squid. Wow. Wow, look at that. Wow. Holy cow. The scientific name for this creature is Vampirotuthus infernalis, which translates to vampire squid from hell. Unfortunately, this creature definitely tries to live up to one of the scariest names in the animal kingdom. The vampire squid is an ancient animal that shares characteristics with both squids and octopods. Vampire squid have eight arms, two long filaments, and a cloak-like web, but they lack the feeding tentacles used by many squid for capturing prey. Named for its webbed tentacles and its tendency to have reddish features, the vampire squid is actually more of a zombie scavenger than a bloodsucker. They tend to feed on waste and animal remains. The most disturbing thing about this creature is its primary defense mechanism. It's capable of turning itself inside out and using the spines that line the bottom of its webbed tentacles to injure predators. While it's not as big as other cephalopods on our list, it may be the most frightening of the bunch. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Big Red Jellyfish a meter-wide monster with feeding tentacles. Crystal jelly. These transparent jellyfish can glow in the dark. Holothurians, aka sea cucumbers. 
Those colorful tentacles are downright unsettling. Usually they just swim uh, if they're startled or are avoiding a predator like Hercules. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Japanese Spider Crab Spiders and crabs are some of the creepiest arthropods on their own. So, a creature that combines the most horrifying traits of both is especially menacing. Known for their incredibly long leg spans, spider crabs dial everyone's nightmares about leggy beasts up to 11. Their limbs can span a nope-inducing 12 feet. These guys can get up to over 10 feet across, almost the size of a small car. Their bumpy exoskeleton also allows them to camouflage themselves. Just imagine that creature suddenly rising up out of the sand or the sea. These marine monsters are found almost entirely in the water surrounding Japan. So, if you don't live or travel to the country, you'll likely never encounter these. Unless a spider crab is camouflaged behind you right now! Just kidding. Made you look. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.